Hi, everyone. Ingas from Printon Pack. Today's topic, green new world. As Annie said, it's controversial for uh, packaging and uh, for, for our industry in overall. So today, I wanted to look a little bit deeper and, and actually wider as well uh, to, to, to packaging industry and to sustainability in, uh, in overall. So it's, of course, it is super hot topic in, uh, in uh, latest years and every peer, every uh, industry is uh, involved in that and is, is really impacted by that. Small companies are making decisions, big uh, companies are making strategies based on that, uh, making uh, long-term policies based on uh, new requirements and new uh, needs for green new world, for, for sustainability. Uh, and consumers are thinking and their philosophy is changing based on uh, these again, requirements and, and a new mi mindset that we have to take care of our ecosystem in overall. Uh, governments are uh, making regulations, are uh, governing uh, our lives and uh, our uh, habits uh, to, to move to this sustainability, to this green new world. So all, all the peers are really involved, but what we wanted to mention mention and, and talk about is that how important it is that all these peers are really thinking and doing on the same page, on the same level, and the level of understanding is, is uh, on the same level and, and on the same time education as well. So I will move a bit more to the uh, packaging industry. So as it is our uh, main uh, business and, and the, the, the industry where we are in and try to look uh, and talk a little bit about this big picture, wider picture, and not really looking to the cover and make decisions based on cover. <coughs> so, recyclable packaging. As you can see, uh, recyclable package by itself is not recyclable if there is not full cycle uh, covered. So, if you start fr from, from the top, there is a production of raw material, then there is a packaging design, then there is manufacturing of uh, packaging, then there is packing of the products, then there is distribution of this product with the packaging, then there is a consumption of the product together with the packaging, and then there is one of the most important parts is a collection and sorting of this uh, packaging. From, from that point, it can go on different ways. It can come to the re reuse if, if the package is re reusable, uh, it can be recycled if the packaging is recyclable, or it can go to the composting or energy recovery if packaging allows that. Uh, but what is important to understand that you cannot call package by itself as recyclable or sustainable if any of these peers are not in a place. So raw material manufacturers, packaging manufacturers, product manufacturers, consumers and also government institutions which are mostly responsible for collection on, on, and sorting uh, and, and governance on, on, on that part are responsible and they are involved in this process. And if any of these peers are not working on the same cycle <clears throat> and are kind of going against the uh, cycle, this one package is not recyclable anymore. So that's why it's very important that we are looking to whole picture and trying to understand that we are all in the same page and there's no one peer who can change industry or world to sustainable. Going a bit more uh, from dif different perspectives to looking to, to the same uh, packaging industry, next topic is uh, marketing and end consumer understanding about sustainability and what sustainable product is. So there's very simple uh, comparison between two packages uh, let's say these are coffee packages. <clears throat> One of them on the right side is a paper touch uh, package, uh, which is two layers uh, package. So from outside it's a paper, but from inside actually it's, there's another layer, who is, which is uh, aluminium or polyethylene, uh, which are sealed both together <clears throat> to, uh, to fill the need of, of this product protect protection. But from outside it looks actually very sustainable because we know that paper, paper is a 
more sustainable, and this is what is our assumption. And in this case, it, uh, it is not recyclable at all. And on the left side, there is a typical uh, polyethylene one layer uh, package, which is fully recyclable. And uh, <clears throat> if we would ask for regular client and user which of these packages are more sustainable, 90% would say that the right one, which, is, which looks like a paper, which feels like a paper. And uh, this is another topic and another important part for end customers to understand what is really sustainable and for the product uh, producers to not, not playing only the marketing tricks, but actually really think about uh, sustainability and uh, recyclable materials in, in their uh, product packaging. Going forward to, uh, to different angles of, of uh, how we can look at, at the packaging and how we should actually look uh, on impact uh, to, to environment uh, from, from the packaging perspective. So here we are looking for the table where we, we look uh, to uh, impact on environment till the moment when, uh, when packages are uh, made, uh, ma ready made for, uh, for, for the producer who is filling that with, uh, with some kind of product and uh, impact uh, from, from different perspectives. So fuel consumption, uh, CO2 uh, emission, uh, water consumption, uh, product, uh, product package uh, ratio, and also land, landfilling. Uh, as you can see uh, from this perspective, uh, flexible packaging, which in our mindset in, in, in overall is uh, most damaging for, uh, for environment, is uh, with the far, by far with the smallest impact on, uh, on environment. And the glass and, 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 uh, and cans actually are much more uh, impacting the environment uh, with the distribution, with the production till the, till the moment when it's in, in a, in a uh, shop shelf. So this is very important to understand uh, also these am uh, angles when you make decision in which packaging you are filling your product and which packaging you as an end consumer are buying in, your, uh, in, in a shop. Another angle for, for, for the same, uh, same topic uh, is the space and weight which is uh, which takes uh, which packaging takes uh, for the same product. So we took 1,000 kg of, uh, of regular sauce, uh, and what is the amount of pa uh, packaging which is needed? So we, we compared the glass, uh, polymer uh, bottles, and, and flexible packaging. So you see that 80, 837 kg of, of glass bottles is needed 90 for the same amount of sauce, 96 kg of polymer bottles, and only 42 kg of flexible packaging, which from, from only from the one perspective is much less weight, from other perspective, it takes much less transport, which is CO2 emissions, uh, which is more effective, uh, which is more effective when you are storing it in in a warehouse. So it takes less space for one one ton of uh, glass and one ton of uh, flexible packaging is uh, 60 times different how much space how, how much space you need in a warehouse which you need to heat or, or cool, uh, where you need electricity, which is, again, f uh, impact to, to environment. So, and there we come to our platform and our main uh, target and what we are aiming uh, with, with uh, printonpunk.com. So very shortly, how it, how it works in our platform. So you as a, cl a client, which is product pro producer, which needs the packaging. So you come in our web, web platform, you fill the form, you tell your need, what is your product, what is your design. You get the offers from more than 100 <coughs> manuf packaging manufacturers uh, all over the Europe, CSI countries, and, and Asia. And uh, you, you compare, you choose one of uh, one which, is, which feels for you the most uh, uh, best fit. Uh, and you make an order, and you get the package in your, in your uh, manufacturing. And very shortly about the problems which we are solving and, and what, is, uh, what is our mission in, in, in a market in overall. So, especially for small uh, clients and small uh, product producers, it's very limited choice and very limited access to the market. So, there's very many cases when packaging manufacturer 
is not really interested even to work with these small product producers and they are declining even to give an offer. So there is a one marketplace where you can come and you can uh, fill your need and we with the very um, organized and uh, structured way we give these offers uh, orders to uh, to manufacturers and they are much more interested to, to give, them, give back the prices and to give offers even for these uh, small players. Then another very big issue which shows actually the situation in, in, in flexible packaging industry is the price. So what we did, we, we uh, uh, processed first uh, 200 uh, applications from the clients and we did some analysis and, and uh, what we got is uh, for the same package, for the same size, same design, uh, different man packaging manufacturers, uh, price offer differs averagely by 88%. So, which is in nowadays, it's, it's, it, it, it's crazy, it, it is crazy difference. And it really shows how complicated for the clients it is to compare the price because in a normal market, if, if, if a customer is able to compare the prices, they would never be able to, uh, to, 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 to accept such price difference. So that then again comes uh, as a good solution the, the place the marketplace where you can easily uh, compare these uh, these pr prices. Uh, another th problem and issue for for the, for the clients is complexity. So the market uh, and flexible packaging in overall is it's it's a very complex uh, process to choose to order this uh, flexible packaging because for each type of product it's fish meat. Uh, sport equipment, uh, yogurt, uh, diary products, or, or some, some, any else, they require different structure of this uh, flexible packaging, which for regular uh, business owner and even for uh, smaller uh, businesses uh, is very complex topic and, and hard decisions to make. So they have to go to each manufacturer, try to understand if they are talking in the same language uh, between them, and then try to compare it. Again, it's, it's, it's possible to do it in one place. You gather all the information, it's very simply and understandable. It's gathered together and, and, and gave to you as, as an offer and you just make a choice. And the last, not least, uh, is sustainability. So what we are doing in, in our uh, platform, we are uh, introducing and we are letting our clients know uh, the latest innovations in the market. So whenever any of our 100 plus manufacturers make some new innovation, we inform all the clients that there is something new available. For example, recyclable material or biodegradable material or new type of packaging. So in the same place where you can easily order the products, you can get all the innovation about, about the industry from the industry uh, for, for your needed uh, and interested products. Uh, and then and other things which we, which we are doing uh, on this sustainability uh, perspective is regular education to the clients. So we try to educate them about the issues which I already mentioned in the pre presentation that it's very important not to look only from one perspective. It's very important to understand the whole picture, whole cycle, to make right decisions for sustainability. And uh, this, is, this is one of our main mission again on this educational uh, part. And just to end with the, very, um, with the two examples for, for you to make a bit, uh, to, to understand it more, how it works with the clients exactly. <clears throat> so we had uh, one client uh, from, from Switzerland, uh, which is a coffee roastery, pretty big one. And they came to us with the need of uh, packaging for the, for, uh, for the product. They, have, they had already uh, manufacturer, but they wanted to cross-check the prices. So we, uh, our system algorithm uh, gathered all the, all the manufacturers which can provide and is the best fit for, for that uh, exact need, and they gave them offers. And one of the manufacturers, as additional offer, gave them uh, recyclable material uh, structure as 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 as, uh, as additional offer in the end of the day the client uh, got instead of regular structure which is not recyclable they got recyclable structure with a 30% smaller price uh, 
And with this recyclable material, in Switzerland, they are getting additional uh, tax discounts. So they, they got saving on that part, and they started to produce products with uh, recyclable materials. So we understood that we have really a uh, big impact on that perspective as well, that we can make, uh, we can really guide clients' decisions on the right way from the sustainability and from innovation perspective. Uh, and a second uh, example is vice versa. So we had, uh, we have a regular conversations with the, with the manufacturers to let them know what's happening in the market, what's the, what, what's the insight from the market. And we had a conversation with, a, with the man, one manufacturer, which is from CIS countries. They are not providing uh, uh, recyclable materials uh, for production. But we told them that, uh, hey guys, we have actually almost 50% of all, all inquiries from, from the clients uh, are for recyclable materials. Based on that discussion, they started to test recyclable materials to be able to produce uh, products uh, packaging with the recyclable materials. And in three months, they will be able to uh, provide clients with the recy recyclable packaging. So <clears throat> this is what we see is so important in, in, in nowadays in this uh, new digital um, environment that, that we are able, we are, we are the spot, we are the marketplace, marketplace between two parties, and we can really uh, impact the way where, where the industry is going, actually. So <clears throat> we take it as a big responsibility from our side uh, to educate all peers to understand what is really necessary to be sustainable and to manage sustainable business, <clears throat> to, be, to, to come to a more greener world. Thank you very much.